In today's video, I'm gonna show you what a football themed room transformation looks like with my second grade students. This is a fun and simple room transformation that's perfect to do during the football season or during the Super Bowl. Hello and welcome to our Super Bowl day vlog. I am Melody Munch. I am a second grade teacher in Oklahoma, and I'm really excited to take you along for this very fun and memorable day. If you're not familiar with the idea of a room transformation or classroom transformation, basically it's where you transform the classroom into a certain theme to engage your students in a day of learning. This day is obviously football themed or Super Bowl themed, and it's a very simple room transformation, but it has been a favorite of my class. A very memorable day indeed. Still doing our regular learning, like we're doing math, we're doing reading, we're doing our social studies, but everything has this football theme layer over it just to really excite and engage students. To do this transformation, you really don't need a lot. The first year we did it, we just made the goal post with paper, and then we made a football field out of green butcher paper and white tape. So I still have that because my husband worked hard on that and did a much better job than I could ever do. Little things like football table class go a long way. We've got some concession treats for a math activity that we're going to do. And then we've got our football themed slides that will go on the board throughout the day. So I feel like if you just have like the concession treats and the football goal post of paper, I think that would be plenty and students would love it. I've done this now, this is my fifth year to do it, fourth year to do it. So I've added some things and collected over the years and Hobby Lobby has some really good discounted things after the season. So if you go like in the fall right after football time they might still have things right now around Super Bowl time but you can catch some really good deals there so I also picked up some discounted pieces doing that. Another thing that really helps set the tone for the day is NFL themed music. That is great just to have on repeat as students come in just really sets the feel of the room. Love doing that and referee jerseys for the teachers. So my team and I will be wearing these as students come in in the morning, probably with some like black athletic pants and some tennis shoes, and I usually wear a hat. And that just is really fun to like guide them through the day as their referee or their coach. I got my referee jersey on Amazon, but last year I had a, a teammate that needed one, and we went and checked Goodwill and found hers for like a dollar fifty. So highly recommend checking thrift stores or if you have like a Goodwill donation center checking there. We we'll also ask your PE teacher. Our PE teacher at my school now doesn't didn't have any, but at my previous school, because they did host a lot more sporting events and they had sporting teams, they also had like a referee jersey closet. <laughs> so they let my whole team borrow them the first year that we did this and that worked out really, really well. So definitely before you just buy things, check around. I will put a list below of all kinds of things I use for this day or decoration things that you could use to just spice up this theme and make it feel really robust. So I will link that below if you want to check out different items that would make this day even better. Before the students left today, we did one of my favorite little things to kick off this football day. We gave each of them a little game day ticket. These are so simple, they just say, bring this ticket to your classroom door for a day full of fun. And it says they're vowed one day only. <laughs> so the students are all like, what? What is this about? And I'm like, well, this is your game day ticket. And I do tell them like, if you lose it, like it's not a big deal because the first year we did this, there was a mom that came running in with her daughter and was like, we lost the ticket. Is it okay? Do we need to go find it? And we were like, of course not. It's totally fine. So I do tell them if you lose it, it's not a big deal, but just to kind of get their interest peaked and let them know like something fun is coming and you're gonna wanna be at school tomorrow and it's gonna be a good day. So I love passing these out. I will probably also have a student deliver um, one or two to our admin and counselor tomorrow because if they have a chance, it's always fun for them to stop by and see the students interacting 
on fun days like this. So now everything in the room is ready to go. After school, my team and I got our yellow butcher paper to make our goal posts. I did try to save mine from the year previous, but it just looked a little sad, so I decided to redo it. I'm not very quick at things like that, so it took quite a bit longer than I thought it would. I thought it would be like, 10 minute done project but it ended up being more like 30. Luckily though the setup for everything else was very quick probably 45 minutes to hang everything else up and set up the concession treats. I got the papers for tomorrow ready to go. This is what students are going to do when they first arrive is decorate a new uniform and then we have some other things that we'll do throughout the day as well like predicting the winner, editing a post for grammar, doing a graph of who we're cheering for and doing a make the match social studies activity lots more things we're doing in math and reading that are not in this stack because they'll just get those when it's time to do them but really excited everything's laid out and ready to go On the day of a room transformation, I like to try to arrive to school 30 minutes early if possible just because there's a lot going on on these days and I like to feel confident and ready that things are in order. I do try and do all the prep the day before as well as all the copies so I'm not running around too much but there are always a few last minute things to add and yes, you'll notice our school does not start till 8.50 so that is why it's already 8 25 and I was about 30 minutes early after setting my things down the first thing I did was prep our daily check-in we do this every day and I had to add a football emoji good morning welcome to our football themed day it is here my team and I are gonna go set up some things in the hallway because last night I got in this really cool Super Bowl stadium tapestry canvas from Amazon so we're gonna put that in the hallway and then I also got these 10 foil balloons that we should be able to inflate and there should be enough for all of us to add some to our classroom so lots to do so I'm gonna go do that and I'm gonna put the NFL music on and then we should be ready for the students so I'm gonna take you along throughout the day to show you each thing we are doing as we do it so let's go Hanging the tapestry ended up being pretty easy to do by myself with binder clips. I just hung it from the ceiling. It could have gone a little bit lower, but that's okay. And then I divided the foil balloons amongst me and my team, and we each put them in our rooms. Are you ready? Thank you for taking it. Good morning. Thank you for your ticket. Good morning. Oh, I can't hear that. Good morning. I brought my game thing today. Good morning. It's going to be a fun day. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's your double shot. I bought you a Valentine's gift. You did? Aww. It's such a fun morning doing all the football themed activities together. The students have most of their time in the classroom during this block of time because they have recess, lunch, and specials all in the afternoon. They started by designing a football uniform and choosing a mascot. Then we did our morning meeting time, a quick grammar and writing activity, and then we spent a lot of time doing different types of math. Here's a look at what we did, and then I'll explain all of these activities in detail in a moment. For a moment, and then we'll check it. All right. Three, two, one. Show me. Let's see, six plus five is 11. Six plus five. Three, four, five, 51 is correct. If you got it right.
Cool, good job guys. We are now halfway through the day and we've been having such a good day so far. When they came in this morning, the kids were just lit up at how the room looked and how I looked and they loved the music and they were just excited to see what was gonna happen today. What we started with when they first came in was designing a uniform. So they had to create their own mascot and uniform and there were some really good creative ideas. Then after that, we did a little timeout so there are different slides that I use for this day so I'll kind of show you using those as well. So when they came in they had that designing uniform job to do and they checked in and then after that we cleaned up, have to have a little football timer and then we did a timeout which means like we're gonna go back to some of our normal school things that are not necessarily part of the football theme so we do have a little sense of normalcy at different times. So for our first time out, we did our morning meeting time where we watch our school announcements, we do our class promise and song, our calendar, and then we did do a football themed greeting. The greeting actually turned out to be really fun. I have these mini footballs that we're gonna use for our reading activity later. They come in like a set of 12 on Amazon and we used this for our greeting. So we sat in a circle and we all start with our thumb up to show we haven't had a turn yet. And then whenever it's your turn with a football, you pass it to somebody who hasn't had a turn yet and say good morning to them. They try to catch it and they say good morning back. Then they pick somebody else in the circle who still has their thumb up. So after you had, turn, had a turn, you put your thumb down. And I gave them a challenge today, which was perfect. I said, if we can get three or less footballs to go out of the circle, so like either they're caught or they land in the circle and the person grabs them, because sometimes when they toss it, they just split go all over the room and it takes forever. So I said, if you can get three or less footballs to go outside the circle, then I will give you an extra positive point on our class scoreboard, which is part of our management, whole class management system. So they were actually really excited by that and they only had three. There were a couple risky throws, but then some people wanted to play it really safe. So they just like passed it to the person next to them, which was fine by me. That was really fun, we did that for our greeting. Then we've been in a sportsmanship unit for morning meeting. So we talked about that a little bit and how we're gonna do some activities that are games today. And we're gonna wanna make sure we are doing the things we've talked about, which is winning with humility, losing with humility, congratulating others, and being polite to others. So win or lose, how to be a good sport. Then we read this book, which isn't particularly about sportsmanship, but it is football themed called Don't Throw It to Mo. It's about a player who is really small and he doesn't get to play very much, but then the coach puts him in and the other team underestimates him and he ends up catching the game winning goal. So we kind of talked about how to build each other up and not discounting anyone because everyone is capable of big things. Using growth mindset too is a good tie in with that. After morning meeting and reading the book, then we went back into some football themed activities, starting with grammar. We edited a post, it was like come to a football game tonight kind of post that were some mistakes like some missing capital letters, punctuation was missing, some words spelled incorrectly. So we looked and fixed those mistakes. And then in writing, we made a prediction of which team's going to win the Super Bowl game and we predicted what their score will be. So not really a lot of writing, but just a little bit incorporated there. There's some other writing like opinion pieces that I put in this product if you're interested in getting the football day product where they can do a little bit more writing, but we just kept ours pretty simple for today. Then we did a brain break. This brain break was perfect. It was all these like football drill activities, like different in and outs with your feet and stuff like that. So that was really fun. There was another one, but we didn't do that one. And then in math, there's a lot to do. So in math, we started by graphing which team our class was going to be cheering for. Last year when we did this the day after the Super Bowl, we graphed who we cheered for. So you could do it either way, but since it's before the Super Bowl, we graphed which team we were rooting for. So it was two teams and then no preference, which is usually me. So that was kind of fun to see. And then we always do a one minute math fact practice. Well, not always, but the past few months we have been just to track how students are doing with their autom automaticity and their math facts. And they've been getting so much better. So we did that with a football timer. And then we went into adding up scoreboard totals. Now you could add, subtract, multiply, divide, however it fits for your grade level. But for second grade, we've been working on adding with regrouping. So this was perfect. So that I had 
different scores on the scoreboard and they just had their whiteboard so we're solving and then if they got it correct they would give themselves a point just to track how well they did so we went through a bunch of those and then it was time for probably my favorite activity which is the concession treats activity in this activity there are four levels so there's popcorn level a pretzel level, a soda level, and a cotton candy level. And they have to, with their partner, solve the problems, their story problems, like so-and-so got this much popcorn and then they got this much popcorn. How much do they have total? And they were all adding with regrouping again, since that's what my class is working on. Once they were done with all four levels, it said, congratulations, you've earned your treats. And they're able to come up and get their little bowl of concession treats and then they had a little mini soda as well they're all gone or else i would show you that but they had a little mini coke they could earn as well it was perfect i had one of my students from last year earn a coupon from her class where she could come help another teacher for part of the day and she chose me which was so sweet so she helped me get all the bowls set out we had gloves and we did it all and then they could just come grab their little bowl of things and go back to their desk and enjoy so that is always a hit. And then while they were eating their snacks, we watched some Mystery Dugs. If you're not familiar, definitely YouTube that. There are two Mystery Doug footballs about things that have to do with football, like why do players wear helmets and who invented football. So we watched both of those. And then it was time for another timeout and we did our read aloud and then they were off to recess and then lunch. So we are about to do our next activity that's really fun. The students will be in groups and they'll go around and read the passages and answer the questions. For each right answer that they get, they'll be able to make a football toss into these different numbered buckets that'll be set up. And we'll keep track to see which team gets the highest score. And they'll also get to toss like one free toss per team to start off the challenge. After students came back from lunch, we read another football themed book and then we spent most of the afternoon doing this activity. Students did a great job going around the room to the different task cards and solving the questions with their group. Most groups got nine to 12 answers correct, so they had quite a few tosses to do. I had them split this up and go in rounds of three tosses so that we really didn't know who the winner would be and groups could decide to get more risky if they had less tosses by shooting for the higher point value. This was super fun, but it did make everything take longer. So if you needed to go faster, I'd have the groups do all of their tosses in one turn or have two different stations for this and have a helper run the other station so that teams could be tossing at the same time. After this, we did a social studies activity where we matched famous people we'd learned about to their description, and then we did class meeting, pack up, and specials. Well, football day is now over. It was so much fun. We had a really good end of the day. It was busy, but really fun, and everybody did a really good job. We got through everything. So I couldn't be happier. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me and my class for this fun football themed day. The cleanup after this was really quick. I just took everything down and put it back in a tote bucket that I keep in our attic and pull it out every year. So it's really easy to have all of the things I need for this day in one place. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.